In today's video, we have a very special guest that will share a great strategy to help sellers become profitable dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace. This special guest has made over $5,000 profit in the last 30 days in Facebook Marketplace alone. He's also one of the leading references when it comes down to Facebook Marketplace and eBay dropshipping. And a couple years ago, he started a YouTube channel to teach people about dropshipping. So make sure to watch it from beginning to end so you don't miss anything that could make you profitable. All right, so let's go. So let's welcome Daniel from Daniel Sales Online. How are you, my friend? Thank you so much for being here today. How's life? I'm excited. Thank you so much for, for, for the invitation. And I really look forward uh, to our conversation. Uh, I'm doing well and just happy to be here. And I look forward to a very uh, interesting conversation. And of course, you know, bring value to everyone watching. It is a fantastic opportunity to learn from you, Daniel. But before we actually get started, would you mind uh, introducing yourself a little bit to our viewers? Definitely. Uh, my name is Daniel and I run the YouTube channel, Daniel Sells Online, uh, which I cover, you know, the topics of drop shipping, uh, primarily on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And for the last year, I've been growing my, my content out, uh, helping people learn, you know, how to do drop shipping. Thank you so much for the introduction. And you know, uh, Daniel, the seller's journey to independence can be very challenging. And I think it's very important for everyone here to understand, you know, what are the key moments that they actually have to go through. And the first major milestone is to break even. Right. So I think that's the thought that almost everybody has is like, yeah, I, I want to do this. I want to learn. I want to sell. But, you know, how do I break even? And then we'll get into it later. You know, how do we become profitable? So for me, my personal experience, I started learning uh, drop shipping in 2018 and I didn't make <laughs> any money uh, like the first six months. Uh, and it wasn't actually until Q4 of that year where I started to see and, and actually run the numbers. And I was actually, you know, starting to break even on, on a lot of the products that I was drop shipping on eBay. So it's a slow grind. But the important part of it is to stick to it and you'll see results. And um, how long did it take you to turn to become profitable? Because that's like the second uh, major step, right? The second milestone. Um, was it a tough journey and was it harder? Th was this step harder than breaking even for you? It was hard. I actually came to a point of a crossroad where I was actually doubting as to whether or not this, you know, drop shipping, you know, thing actually worked. Um, yeah, I came I feel, very I feel close. You've been there too. Yeah. I came very close to actually calling it quits. But you know, I talked to people. I network. Um, uh, the the people at the time who was who I was, you know, listening to. You know, I reached out to them for guidance. And if it wasn't for that, I probably would have, like I said, called it quits. But, you know, I continue to push through and that kind of brings us into, I guess, 2019 to give more of a timeline so the audience understands, you know, um, how much time has, has passed. Uh, it took me about another few months before, you know, things started to go in the right direction. And I started to see, you know, profits, you know, start, you know, coming my way. And that was just because of more education. I started to get better at product research. And just understanding, you know, customer behavior and, and patterns and how do customers buy. So all those things, you know, you put them together and those are the tools that really help you to kind of take the next step and become profitable. We both know that a lot of sellers are getting stuck into the profitable um, stage and they're struggling to scale. How did you overcome this business? Because I, I know that you have um, multiple stores and... Uh, could you share with us how you overcome this and how, um, if you have any tips for people that are actually on that step right now? That's really kind of one of the, the hardest obstacles for, for most to, to overcome. And the reality is, it is that it's very difficult and it takes a lot of time, work, sweat, effort. So the very first thing I would do is, okay, you know, what is the most important thing for growth is that I need to have products up. 
So you need a system that's going to allow you to get products up onto your store in a consistent way. You want to make sure that it's a process for optimizing those listings, making sure you have the best images and the best titles, uh, because that's really going to help you to scale your business. Let's talk a little bit about Facebook Marketplace, because I know most of our viewers are here for Facebook Marketplace. Of course. Um, drop shipping. And um, I've, I've, be, I've seen your videos. Um, I am a fan. I follow your channel. Thank you. And, uh, by the way, everyone, the link will be here in the description. Daniel sells online. All right. So don't forget to go over there and subscribe to it. Um, it's a great, 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 great um, channel. All right, and now I want to ask our viewers, are you ready to make profit with FBM drop shipping? So pay attention right now. Don't go anywhere because it is a privilege to have an experienced seller here with us. And Daniel has a very efficient strategy to find winning products that is just going to blow your mind. Isn't that right, Daniel? Yes, and I'm excited that we finally got to this part of the video. So you're going to want to stay tuned. And this is going to be, you know, very simple, uh, beginner friendly way of doing it. I'm going to walk you through it. And hopefully this is going to help you to, you know, start finding your own products, find opportunities uh, for items that you can find demand on Facebook Marketplace. And then you can get start selling right away. So let's go inside my computer and I'll show you right now. So the screen is yours. <laughs> I want to show you how you can find items that you can sell on Facebook Marketplace and use Zeek Analytics to validate that information. So you want to navigate over to Marketplace and on the search bar, you're going to type in a particular product niche. In this case, I'm going with workout equipment. These items were something that I sold uh, very successfully during Q4. And on the left hand side, you want to use the filters. So I'm filtering for the item it has to be in new condition. Um, the item ships to you and I also want to make sure the item has sold and now I have all the information that I want in front of me and I can start to browse all the different items in this particular niche that I have sold now I don't necessarily want to sell the same exact item I want to look for comparable items so that my listings are going to stand I am now inside of Seek Analytic and what I'm trying to do right now is, you know, cast the net pretty wide. So I'm going very generic here with workout bench as my keyword. And I'm doing this on purpose because I want to see, you know, what information I'm going to get back and see what items are going to be classified under workout bench. Because again, my goal is I want to see what other items are out there that perhaps are not being sold on marketplace and there might be an opportunity okay which by the way i am going to give you like two different scenarios because you know there's one where i'm going to cast that net wider and see what i can find and then i also want to do something else which is look for an item that's similar to this one because as you can see here this item has sold multiple times by different sellers so it seems to be very popular and it's something that you probably want to consider and, and take a look and probably list it yourself. Okay. But first let's start out with the wider search. And, you know, typically I, I, I don't spend too much time up here. I mean, it's good to know that there's a high sell through rate, uh, for this particular niche. Now it's pretty wide, um, which is fine, but what I really want to focus on are the individual sellers. And how many times has this item sold in the past 30 days? Because that's going to tell me that there's demand, uh, people are buying it, it's popular. And I want to kind of, you know, continue to look into those listings myself. So this item right here, you know, it's sold 821 times in the last 30 days. So, you know, I want to take a look at this listing and I, I want to see, you know, the images, how does it product look you know is it a hot item and from the looks of it right now according to ebay you know four have sold in the last 24 hours and typically you want to see information like this because it kind of validates that you know it's in demand or people are going to buy and items like this i have seen do very well on facebook marketplace so definitely it would, this would be something i'll probably be listing myself so for this particular keyword the sell through is not as high, but
But again, and since we're doing this for marketplace, I'm not really to focus on that. I just want to see the individual product itself. So you can see it right here that you, you have, you know, some, you know, similar benches. And what I really want to focus on is, you know, how many have sold. So uh, this item either, you know, might be new or there just isn't that much demand on eBay for it. But based on the information that I see on Facebook Marketplace, you know, it's sold a few times. So, you know, people are interested on Marketplace. So I would definitely, you know, look into, you know, listing some of these um, variation products into my own account. And again, I, I want to open up the listing. And I mean, this item for sure has to be dropped, is being drop shipped by somebody else. So I will probably want to identify the actual source. And instead of buying it from eBay, I'll likely be buying it from walmart.com. If it wasn't for Zeek Analytic, this process would take me so much longer. And the way that the information is presented to you, it makes it so much easier and it saves you so much time. Because, for example, if I just wanted to go down a particular seller on eBay and just go through the entire store and look at all their listings and all their items within this particular niche, I can do so very quickly by just simply going over and clicking on the uh, seller and I'm going to have a brand new browser open up and take me directly to their store. Not only that, it's also telling me, you know, how many items I've sold over the past 30 days. I don't have to go through each individual listing, open up different tabs and try to get that information. You know, SIG Analytics makes that uh, very easy for you and easy for you to see. Um, not only that, but you can see, you know, where the item, you know, might be being sourced from. Uh, right here, you know, Amazon. And then in addition to that, it tells you if it's a drop shipper or not because it's giving you an icon right here. So if you want to source this item for uh, Facebook Marketplace, you definitely do not want to buy it from another drop shipper on eBay. You actually want to go to the source. So that way you know that you're not going to be paying more for the product uh, when you go ahead and purchase it for drop shipping it on Facebook Marketplace. And, you know, this is why I love using Zeek. Uh, it's a great tool. And not only can you use it for eBay research, but I just demonstrated how you can also use it for, you know, Facebook and get the same value and quality data points, you know, for your Facebook dropshipping business. All right. So thank you, Daniel. Thank you again for being here and for sharing so much knowledge with us. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Uh, well, I mean, it's been a great experience. Uh, thank you so much for the invitation. I really love, you know, talking to your audience and I hope that everyone is going to walk away with something new and that they can actually apply right now because that's really what matters. I, I think people are always, you know, coming to, you know, channels like mine and like, and like yours, you know, looking for solutions to a lot of problems. And I hope that, you know, we brought value and we were able to present that, you know, to the audience. And thank you so much for the invitation and I really enjoy the conversation. Amazing. Thank you. Daniel sells online, everyone. The link will be here in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thank you. And all right. See you next time, Daniel. Thank you so much. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and tell us, tell us who you want us to interview next. You just comment below and we'll do it. All right. So keep moving forward and see you next time.